if you're very careful mathematically in analyzing these theories, you realize that there have to be realms out there that duplicate ours as well. Many can be different, but there have to be versions of this reality that are also instantiated, occur out there in yeah. other realms. So you come to these crazy sounding, sci-fi sounding ideas that you and I are having this conversation out there in other distant realms. An infinite number of times. Perhaps infinite number of times. And moreover, yeah. small differences can also arise in these other realms where maybe our positions are interchanged at the table or, you know, maybe your name is, uh, you know, Joe Green and I'm Brian Rogan or there's like strange realities that can be taking place. And this is not an overworked theorist imagination. This is the careful, dispassionate analysis of the mathematical equations. Now, I should say, there are some physicists who see this implication and say, whoa, you guys have fallen off the deep end. Your theory has imploded because any theory that predicts that kind of a wealth of realities that are kind of untestable because they're so far away that we will never interact with them, that's the kind of theory that we have been trained to avoid, to excise. Mm. However, the more you know, forward thinking I'd like to describe us, physicists say, hey, uh, math has proven to be a very valuable guide over the course of hundreds of years. And if this is where the math is taking us, it's at least worthy of our attention to investigate it fully and possibly come to the conclusion that this is how reality actually behaves.